Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. The big news for today is the outbreak of the monkey pox virus as is being seen in multiple nations across the world including in Europe, Australia and also previously in Africa. But before we go deeper into this particular big news and important reminder Tomorrow's class in the Target Prelims 2022 crash course will be the third class on international relations. This is the last class of this ongoing free crash course on our YouTube channel of Baiju's IAS. Don't forget to join it live at 7:30 p.m. Also, in case you were not able to attend any of the earlier classes, you can find them on our YouTube channel. All that you have to do is go to the YouTube channel and search for the Target Prelims 2022 crash course. In this we have covered important current affairs of the last 365 days of each and every subject now let's come back to the big news for today now the monkey pox virus that has been in the news across the world right now is actually a rare viral zoonotic disease zoonotic disease means a disease that is transmitted from animals to humans the symptoms of this virus is very very similar to that which were seen in the smallpox patients but the good part is it has been proven to be less severe as compared to the smallpox disease it does not mean that it is not deadly but the number of people who unfortunately might have to lose their lives are much lesser as compared to the smallpox disease now this primarily occurs in tropical rainforest areas of central and west africa but the reason why it is in the news around the world is that it is now spreading to europe also and cases have also been found in the united states of america The concerning part is that it is being seen even amongst those people who do not have any recent travel history of Africa. As I said earlier, the reason why it has made so much news is because of the number of cases that are being seen in countries across the world, which includes the US, Canada, even as far as Australia. Cases have also been found in UK and Portugal. so the disease that was mainly concentrated in africa earlier is now spreading its wings across the world the other unfortunate reality of our times is that as long as a disease only remains confined to africa we don't really hear a lot of news about it which is very very unfortunate it is only when such a disease starts spreading to the developed world europe america australia it is only then that the global media starts to cover such a disease in such a high profile manner This is what has happened with monkey pox also. If you look at the origin of the monkey pox, this is not a new disease as such. It was first discovered in 1958. Now the fun fact is, although the name of the disease is monkey pox, that does not mean that it originates from monkeys. Do remember that part. The reason why it is called monkey pox was that it first occurred in colonies of monkeys which are kept for research. hence the name came about as a monkey pox the first human case of this disease was in 1970 in the democratic republic of congo it was a 9 year old boy living in a remote part of the democratic republic of congo after that multiple cases were found in central and western african nations but the outbreak in the 1970s and 80s did not spread to other parts of the world and that is why it was mainly confined to the african continent Now as you can see in all those pictures the symptoms and signs of the monkey pox are very similar to that of smallpox it also begins with fever headache pain in the muscles exhaustion however the main difference between monkey pox and smallpox is that the lymph nodes that actually occur throughout the body as you can see in this photo in case of monkey pox these actually swell while in case of smallpox they don't really swell in case of smallpox these lymph nodes do make a mark throughout the body but they don't really swell and they don't really enlarge in size which is the case here in case of the monkey pox as per the who within 1 to 3 days there would be appearance of the fever after which the patient will develop some rash and it will also begin to show on the face of the patient along with other parts of the body now in most of the people this illness is not deadly however In Africa, one out of every ten people have actually gone on to die who ever have contracted the disease. So the rate of people who are actually dying of this disease is said to be ten percent, which is not very low. And that is why right now there is a concern all across the world, 
as to how can we exactly handle this disease. Now, the main problem with this particular disease actually starts with the rodents. So it is not the monkeys, but the rodents that are considered to be the carriers of this particular virus. Now, this disease is being spread among the humans only through transmission by the animals. It's when humans come in direct contact with animals through blood, bodily fluids, or mucosal lesions of the infected animals, does the human beings also get hold of this virus. Now, there is ongoing research about which exact animal is the home of this particular virus, but scientists say that it can be rope squirrels, tree squirrels, the Gambian poge rats, dormice, and different species of monkeys, which can be the home of this particular virus. But in all probability, it has to be the rodents that are the main carriers. Human-to-human -human transmission is also being seen through respiratory secretions, skin lesions of an infected person, or through recently contaminated objects. The health workers also are at a risk while treating these people, and that is why they also have to be extremely careful not to become a close contact of people who have this particular virus in their body. Now, there is no specific vaccine that has been delivered for monkeypox. However, the report suggests that vaccination against smallpox has an 85% effective rate in preventing monkeypox also. So, if you have already had the smallpox vaccine, it might save you from monkeypox or if not, it would at least make sure that you have a much milder version of the monkeypox. The other sad reality is that even for vaccines to develop for these kind of diseases, it will only be done once a very large number of people actually get this disease. Think of it from the point of view of the pharma companies. For them, making a vaccine means investment of billions and billions of dollars because of all the research that goes into it. For them, it has to be a profitable proposition if they have to indulge in making this vaccine. So they would have to make sure that there are enough people or enough governments across the world that will give them orders to buy these vaccines so that they can have a good profit on whatever their investment is. That is why you see that when there are diseases which are not caught by many people across the world, even though they may be the most severe diseases, you don't really have many medicines or vaccines available against it because of this simple reason. However, since this disease is now spread into the developed world also, we might see some improvement in this particular field and we might see some pharma companies now working towards making vaccines specifically targeted towards the monkeypox disease. This is everything that you needed to know about the monkeypox disease as of today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.